Okay, so a couple other things you want to communicate to your designer, and some of it relates to how you're going to print your book. So now we're all of a sudden we're talking about a whole new topic, like getting the book printed, what that means. Um, there's a couple terms we're going to define here. So we're going to look at uh, signature. So does everyone know what a signature means in terms of what the actual book is? And it's something that, you know, is important to one aspect of printing, but maybe not another. So number of pages in a sheet, foldage for trim. Yeah, correct. So I think if I can pull down a book here, and we'll see if we can actually see. If you guys have a hardbound book, you might be able to see it as well. So we're going to look at the actual production of this book right here. I'll try to see if I can get in there. I don't know if you guys can see. There's a bunch of little sort of folded sheets. You can kind of see the edges of it a little bit. So that's what refers to a signature. Now, you may be printing with a, uh, a printer that has a signature requirement, like your total page count has to be divisible by 16, or your total page count has to be divisible by 8. Uh, in certain kinds of printing, that gets very important, because if you are on the edge of a signature, maybe you need to go one up or one down. So you need to add or remove, let's say, 16 pages, because your book isn't at an even signature. If you have a requirement with that, if you have talked to a printer and you want to go through a method of printing that requires uh, an even signature count, that's something to communicate to your designer because now they need to be very aware of the page count. They can't just sort of flow in the text and get to wherever the book is going to be and let it sit at, you know, 11 pages, let's say, for example. So that wouldn't work because we need it to be divisible by 16. So ideally, they're not going to waste a lot of space and add up the page count and start going a little crazy with the design because you have a, a concern in terms of the cost of the actual production. So you don't want them to take your book and all of a sudden it, it looks great, but it's 2,400 pages and the per unit cost is going to be insane. So if you have a certain requirement in terms of your page count, that's something you need to talk to the designer at so that they're kind of mindful of what, how their design has to function. We had a, a, a similar issue, and I feel like I'll just have a lot of stories about the problem. Um, there was another designer working for a client sent it to us for production, and their maximum page count was like 356 pages. When we flowed the text into the book, it was something like you know 600 pages, way over what the maximum page count was supposed to be. So we had to make some pretty huge adjustments to the, the uh, design, really tighten the text up, you know, smaller margins, so it didn't look nearly as good as the original. But in that instance, that was maybe a miscommunication between the designer and the client because they said everything looked good, really liked the design, but it didn't fit this other requirement that they had. So in addition to demographics and your tone, now we're looking at well, how much is this gonna run me? Like, is this going to be a huge book because I have you know, giant margins for students to take text or am I, for, to take notes, or are we going to work with the designer and figure out something that's going to be a good balance here. So just one more consideration for you guys in case you're unfamiliar with this aspect of it. Uh, again, we're going from production to post-production or from pre-production to post-production production. So now we're getting concerned about paper and printing. And your question is how they figure out number of pages they need that they work with. Yeah, so that's one example. Um, we have a couple printers that we work with and you could give them your, your manuscript, we kind of work with a design and then they can estimate the page count. So you might be within a certain range or you could kind of ask them, hey, I want to do an eight and a half thousand book and I'm thinking it's going to be around 400 pages. You know, what are my options? Um, another way to do that would be to go to another common POD printer like uh, Lightning Source, things like that. They're a, a very common uh, POD printer and they can give you really quick estimates on a per unit price for what the book would cost. Or, you know, if you're ordering a unit price for if you're ordering 500 or if you're ordering, you know, 200, things like that. So there are definitely options. And at, at this stage, that's when we can start to think about what those options are gonna look like so that we can get an idea of, well, it's a little expensive. I think I might need to tighten this book up a little bit design-wise. And that's not always an option, especially if you have, you know, your author has given you 400 full page images or something like that, but it's definitely a concern at this stage. Um, okay, so we talked about demographic, warning the designer of issues, the author's role, 
um, page count, all those important things. Um, and I think at this point, we're going to move into, you know, we're going to kind of play designer for a little bit. And we're going to take a document, upload it to the hub, and get a look at some possible considerations to move from uh, the editorial to design.